what books and burials tell us part 3 so let's start this video with this topic were some burials spot mean for certain families some burial spots mean for certain families sometimes megaliths contain more than one skeletal means many skeletal were found these indicate that people perhaps belonging to the same family were buried in the same place though not at the same time right at the different times uh, and in the different years the people were buried but belonging to same family the bodies of those who died later were brought into the grave through the pot holes <clears throat> stone circles or boulders placed in the previous video we discussed about circles and boulders on the surface probably served as sign post to find the burial site so that people could return to the same place whenever they wanted to it means all the uh, people those who died from the same family were buried at the same place so this was about the burial spots meant for certain families we'll start with the topic a special burial at inam gaon inam gaon is uh, situated in maharashtra it is a uh, post harappan civilization village and uh, maharashtra situated in maharashtra and uh, here the profession of people was mainly agriculture so agrarian village right in amga and we can find out uh, in your book on page number 13 so it's a site on the river god god is a tributary of bhima river bhima river uh, that flows from maharashtra karnataka telangana etc it was occupied between 3600 and 27 years ago here adults were generally buried in the ground laid out straight right approximately straight and with the head head towards north clear towards north direction you have to remember sometimes burials were within the houses vessels that probably contained food and water were placed with the dead dead people so with the dead bodies the people used to keep vessels containing food and water understand so in this paragraph we came to know about inam gaon how the people were kept after the death in the uh, burials one man was found buried in a large four legged clay jar in the courtyard of a five roomed house one of the largest houses at the site in inam gaon in the center of uh, this settlement this house also had a granary to keep grain the body was placed in a cross legged position you have to remember the cross legged position body is found at inam gaon what skeletal studies tell us skeletal studies tell us lot of things clear most of the skeletal studies tell us about the people they are size whether they are children or they were adult clear so it was very easy to make out the skeletal of a child from its small size but there was no major differences in the bones of a girl and boy so just sometimes people decide on the basis of what is found with the skeletal for instance if a skeletal is found with jewelry so jewelry was used by women but uh, this was the problem that uh, often men also uh, wore ornaments so a better way of figuring out the sex of a skeletal is to look at the bone structure bone structure means the hip or the pelvic area of women is generally larger to enable child bearing so uh, it was estimated that uh, uh, this skeletal is of women or men so these distinctions are based on modern skeletal studies about 2000 years ago there was a famous physician named charaka charaka who wrote a book on medicine known as charaka samhita you have to remember who wrote charaka samhita charaka right he was the first uh, physician we can say and there he states uh, that the human body has 360 bones according to charaka and this is a much larger number than today 200 around 200 bones 
that are recognized in modern anatomy. Charaka arrived at this figure by counting the teeth, joints and cartilage etc. Occupations at Inamgam. What kind of work the people used to do? Archaeologists have found seed of seeds of wheat, barley, rice, pulses, millets, peas, and sesame. This indicates that the people used to grow the crops. Simple thing. Bones of a number of animals, many bearing cut marks that show they may have been used as food, means they used to hunt them and have also been found. These include cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep, dog, horse, as pig, sambar, and spotted deer, black buck, antelope, hare, and mongoose, besides birds, co crocodile, turtle, crab, and fish. There is evidence that fruits such as bear, amla, jamun, and dates, and a variety of berries were collected. So, this indicates the occupation of the people at Inamgam. If we study elsewhere in China, around 3500 years ago, we find some of the first evidence of writing in China. These writings were on animal bonds, animal bonds, and uh, these are called oracle bonds. Clear? Because they were used to predict the future, kings got scribes to write questions on the bonds. Scribes were the writers. Would they win battles? Would the harvest be good? This was means these questions indicating future at that time. Would they have sons? The bones were then put into the fire and they cracked because of the heat. And then a uh, fortunate uh, teller, teller studied these cracks and tried to predict the future. So as you may expect, they sometimes made mistakes definitely because future uh, telling future is not so accurate and uh, fortune tellers might be wrong these kings lived in palaces and cities they amassed vast quantities of wealth because they were having the wealth and including large elaborately decorated bronze vessels however they did not know the use of iron but they were using other metals like bronze so this was about elsewhere in this chapter dear students we have completed this chapter and in the next video we will revise with some mcqs or something uh, some new uh, terms and uh, words so keep revising the chapter and uh, watch this video again if you don't understand you can ask me by writing in comment box thank you have a nice day